Welcome back to Headlines Today. Shivalal Yadav is the BCCI Vice President from the South Zone and is the most likely candidate to take over from N. Srinivasan if he steps down as Chief. Sources have told Headlines Today that as per the constitution of the Cricket Board, if the President steps down, then a Vice President from the same zone must take over. Atit Sharma is with us on the phone line for more on the story. Uh, Atit, uh, give us a background on Shivalal Yadav and, and and what we know about him as a uh, cricket administrator. Shivlal Yadav has been, uh, after he's um, retired from, um, from active cricket, he's been uh, very actively involved in the politics of uh, cricket and he's been uh, involved in the Hyderabad Cricket Association affairs and uh, there was a point of time when he was also a strong contender to become the president of the board at uh, one point of time about a few years ago, but that did not happen. But uh, now that the, uh, this, this, is, this is something which is, uh, this is an extraordinary situation for the BCCI. Um, most of the members that we've spoken to, most of, the, most of our sources have said that this is something which we've never faced. So it's, it's a kind of situation that they don't know how to react to. But uh, as of now, if they actually go by the constitution, uh, board's constitution, then they have to elect a uh, president uh, from the same zone. And uh, from South Zone, uh, Shivlal Yadav, is the vice president, the next senior most officer, so in the board. So uh, mm -hmm. he seems to be the most uh, likely contender uh, uh, as of now. But uh, since uh, they have not uh, encountered such a situation before, I think uh, they'll be uh, taking it uh, step by step. Uh, first of all, uh, Mr. Srinivasan has to decide about himself, uh, what he wants to do. And um, I think all, of, all, all the senior officials of the BCCI are expected to go into a huddle and then uh, come out with a strategy or uh, some kind of a solution to this in entire impact. Atish Sharma reporting on there of the, of the likely person who will take over, that's uh, Shivlal Yadav. Now, the Supreme Court uh, announcement this morning, and, and as Atit was reporting, has thrown everything into chaos. The BCCI doesn't know how to react. For the moment, we know this. The BCCI chief must step down, at least for the period of the investigation. It may also hit his chances to take over as the ICC, or the International Cricket Council chief, from June this year. However, if uh, the petitioners are successful, and Srinivasan's team in the IPL, the Chennai Super Kings may even be suspended from the tournament. The order will also strengthen the hands of Srinivasan's opponents within the BCCI, so much so that his re-election as chief of the board, which is due in September, may even be in jeopardy. Srinivasan has certainly uh, won a few uh, enemies in cricket administration during his rise to the BCC, top of the BCCI. Some of those administrators who are likely to benefit from all this include Sharad Pawar, who is the chief of the National Con Nationalist Congress Party, uh, as well as uh, the, the head of the Maharashtra Cricket Association. Uh, he, another name that we're hearing is Ayaz Bindra, an outspoken critic of Mr. Srinivasan. There's also, of course, Lalit Modi, who was the former IPI commissioner who was sacked from his job and banned for life from Indian cricket by N. Srinivasan and the BCCI. And there's Ajay Shirke, who is the former treasurer of the board.